can you believe our apartment in Orid was only 26 US dollars a night and it came with this amazing view. Today is our first full day in Orid, North Macedonia, and this town sits right on Lake Orid, which is one of the oldest and deepest lakes in Europe. We haven't seen much of the town yet, but so far what we've seen, it's just such a picturesque, cute little town. And we're starting our day out by walking to a beach that's a little bit outside of the old town, and it offers some great views of the lake, so we're heading there now. We didn't realize we were gonna pass this on our way to the beach, but when we saw it, we just had to stop. This is the Church of St. Sophia, and it's a church that was built and completed in the ninth century during the Byzantine period. And it's just so fascinating to see something from this period, the ninth century, among all of the Ottoman architecture, all the Ottoman houses, just to see like two completely different periods of time that both came through this city and this region to be right up next to each other. And this is seriously just one of the coolest churches that we've seen. This really just is an incredible sight right in the middle of, <laughs> right in the middle of the town on our walk to the beach. There's a part of the stone roof that's broken and it reveals a painting on the side of the wall. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, that's so cool. That's crazy, I never would have seen that. I love the reddish brick that is present in a lot of the Byzantine architecture. It's very different than a lot of what I know as the Ottoman, Ottoman architecture. Sabrina has been admiring all of the lanterns throughout the town, and they're really cool. They look like a little house. And right behind me, I heard a tour guide talking about this house right here, how it's one of the most famous in the town because it's so beautiful. And it turns out that that's actually what all the lamps are modeled after. So just all throughout the town, there's many versions of this house. It's made of like three blocks getting bigger in size as they go up. It's just a really cool house in the Ottoman architecture right next to this incredible church. There's been parts of Ottoman architecture throughout a lot of the cities, throughout the Balkans that we've been in, but this one, it's everywhere. There's these Ottoman style houses with the white walls and the red roofs everywhere. And for it to be right, a, right alongside this church from the Byzantine Empire in the ninth century is just absolutely insane. <laughs> Wow. It does look pretty amazing. Though. Oh, I can't really see. Wow, it does. You can see the art. Yeah. But we saw peeking through. Yeah. While we were walking around the church, one of the guides came up to us and offered to give us a little tour for five euros. So we took him up on his offer and he took us inside the church and usually just entering it would have been six euros for both of us to go in anyway without a guide. So I think it was pretty cool, pretty good deal. He took us inside, told us about the history, explained some of the frescoes to us, and it was a really good time. I'm glad he did it. Yeah, he told us what fish to try too. He did. So now we are definitely heading to lunch. I was starving originally and yeah I'm excited for lunch so I think we're pretty close to it should be there in just a few minutes one of the main reasons we wanted to go to this beach today was to walk on the gorgeous boardwalk that gets you there it's just a wooden bridge over the water right on the edge of the cliffs and we just got to it and it's so gorgeous oh my gosh already worth the walk over here. I thought it was gonna be a little farther, but it was just like a five or 10 minute walk from our apartment, which is right in the middle of the old town. And then, you know, that half hour detour we took at the church with the tour and everything, but this is gorgeous. 
Something interesting about this lake is that it is on the border between North Macedonia and Albania. Albania doesn't have a ton of the coastline, but there are, I think it was like 20 to 25 kilometers that Albania owns. And so we're looking at some mountains over in the distance and we could just be looking at Albania right now. You can see the most picturesque, popular church in this town. You can see it oh, from really? the end of this. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can. That's so, that's so pretty. I'm so excited to go look at that. Yeah. See the views from up there. Well, I can do it right after lunch. Yes. So unfortunately, the restaurant that we came over here for seems to be closed. I don't know if it just operates in peak season and because it's mid-October it's closed or if we are just not here at the right time. But there is another restaurant in this area that is more expensive, less rated, <laughs> but open. So I think we're going to do that. On the bright side, it's just, it looks like a couple minute walk to the next big stop that we're going to, the picturesque church that we saw on the way over here. So that'll be nice after lunch. So impatient. This whole trip I've been wanting to, but scared to, try some fish soup. I don't know why, just the sound of fish soup sounds super intimidating to me. But I finally got it today and it's much less intimidating than I made it out to be. It's literally just like a homemade chicken noodle soup broth with fish instead of chicken. And it's very mild, it's not as fishy as I thought fish soup would be. I've said fish so many times. <laughs> Ord is actually a huge religious hotspot that covers a few different religions, mainly uh, Orthodox Christian, Catholicism, and um, Islam. The biggest one of those definitely being the Orthodox Christian. And so we're actually gonna be visiting another one of the Orthodox churches, the St. John Church. There's some controversy as to exactly when this church was built, but everybody agrees that it was built before the Ottoman Empire and probably in the um, early 15th, all the way down to the 13th centuries. So this is incredibly old, not quite as old as the one that we just saw that was built in, um, I think the 11th century, but still just insane to see. One interesting fact that our guide told us about as well was that during the Ottoman reign here, the churches like this were not actually destroyed, but they, a lot of them were converted into mosques. So it's really awesome that we still get to enjoy the architecture from those pre -Ottoman, the pre-Ottoman era and that they were actually maintained pretty well. Right behind the Church of St. John that we were just at is a hike that will take you to the fortress that we're gonna see and show off in the next video, but also Plauschnik, which is a major archeological site here in Oren, but also a major, a major holy place. It includes a large church, some Muslim tombs, and other sites that are interesting. But unfortunately, a good bit of it is under reconstruction right now. So I don't think we're gonna be able to go into the ministry, but, it looks like it would be very beautiful if we were able to. And the fortress that we'll see in a few days. It's just right, right there. there. Right <laughs> there. That's so cool, wow. The thing I would have been most interested in seeing up close and in person would be this, which is the Christian Basilica. It's like an open air building and it would just be so awesome to be able to walk around in it. Yeah, that looks so cool. I love, I love that. We love the red roofs, and it's a building that's entirely red roofs. <laughs> I didn't even think about it like that, but yeah. <laughs> this Ottoman house, or whatever it is, is in such pristine condition. It's so beautiful. 
Under this amazing Ottoman style building, which I'm not 100% sure is original because of the massive catwalk on it, there is a super cool system of underground passageways. Um, they're all arched and it looks like it would be so cool to be able to walk in there, but right now it's under construction. So I guess Plauschnik is just this entire courtyard filled with ruins and ottoman style buildings and this amazing church right here this is so much cooler than i was expecting this was gonna be one of the things that we didn't know if we we're gonna be able to make it or not and it's actually past five and so i think normally they're closed right now but it's so quiet and there's no one here and there's just so much beauty around on top of the mountains and the lake in the distance this is incredible We're so close to being able to go inside the basilica, but no entry. It's still under reconstruction. Very unfortunate. And right across from the St. Clement's Church is a little sneak peek of the fortress, just watching over it. We just have one stop left before we end our day and we saved one of the most popular spots in town for last. We're loving how condensed some of the sites are in this town because from where we just were, it was just about a five minute walk to get to this Roman theater. Around the end of the third or beginning of the second century. Wow. In the period of late Hellenism. While it served as a Roman theater shortly after it was built, it was actually built during the, the second or third century and is part of the Hellenistic period. And then the Romans came along and repurposed it for their own needs. I think it's commonly known as a Roman theater because it was used so much for their purposes and it was captured pretty soon after it was built. But yeah, I think it's technically not, but still. <laughs> We have no idea if this is one of the theaters where it just amplifies the voice that's in the center, but Marshall's running down to see if I can hear him from the top. Hey. I, yeah. Yeah. I heard most of what you said. It sounded pretty normal, so I kind of want to go down and see what it sounds like to talk down at the bottom of it. He said there was an echo for him. Two tour group just showed up, so I feel very self-conscious trying to talk at a normal volume down here. At least looks really cool. I think it's awesome that they they clearly still use this for events and stuff. There's so many gorgeous venues in Europe. I love it. It's so cool. So far, I feel like talking just sounds normal. Can you hear me pretty well? No, you can't hear me pretty well. You said it sounds muffled. Okay. Apparently it's normal. <laughs> no, I'm getting out of here. Okay, now after a healthy dose of embarrassment, we're gonna end the video here and we're so excited to explore this town for a few more days. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.